Hello everybody and welcome. I'm on the way to test this ancient Model S. Yeah, it's not that ancient, I guess. It's a uh, February 2016 Model S. The model number is a 70D, which means it's 70 kilowatt hour battery, and D means it's all wheel drive. I thought I'd take it out to my favorite test site and run a zero to 60 test on it. The reason I'd like to do that is I'd really like to compare. This is one of the very first uh, commercial vehicles besides the Roadster that Tesla made. And uh, I want to see how it stacks up with some of the new modern EVs, uh, considering that uh, this is a pretty old girl. It's in good shape. Uh, I'll uh, run it on uh, the 0 to 60 using a product called a Draggy. It's a GPS-based uh, acceleration monitor device. That's what I use on all of my tests. It's a nice afternoon. It's a little on the warm side. I'm reading 91 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, it looks like uh, there could be a little spotty rain, but we're not called for uh, any kind of rain coming up. Anyway, I got, I think, another 10 or 12 miles to go. Where I test this is a uh, long ways from my house. You think I live in the boonies. This is really in the boonies. Here's the setup of the car. You can look at it, maybe even freeze frame it, take a look at it. Uh, but one of the things uh, of interest to me today is uh, the front motor in this is an induction and the rear motor is a small induction motor. It's kind of interesting. We'll uh, make use of uh, the induction motor. We have arrived at the test location. Golly, look at the vegetation. It has really grown up here. This is my turnaround spot. Can't hardly see it from all of the vegetation. Wow. <laughs> Let's see if I turn around here. Oh, try to stay on the road, Dave. There we go. Let's have a look. All right, just to confirm, we're running in standard. Um, just the normal things here. I am not in uh, any kind of uh, what you call it mode where it uh, is uh, saving power. And uh, this will be our launch point right here. Okay, I don't see anybody coming. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset Draggy. Okay, Draggy's reset on three. One, two, three. Oh, I'm just about knocked a foot. 60. Wow, 200 kilowatts. Just about dropped the phone I was holding. Right, let's pull up here and see what our timing is. This actually has some Rudy Guard pickup. Holy mackerel. All right, well, let's have a look at it here. Wow, first run, 5.42 seconds, 2016 Model S. These are uh, heavier than the new Model S's. Wow, that's impressive. Shoot, my, um, it was uh, just slightly slower than uh, the Model Y. Wow, and this isn't even a performance version. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go up here and uh, try one more time and get it logged. And you're hearing Draggy talk. Uh, she blabs as we drive around. Turn around here. It's kind of in the middle of the road, but uh, we only saw one car one time, so I think we're okay. Okay, we're getting ready to launch for number two. This time I'll hold my phone better. I almost lost it last time. I didn't really expect it to be that good. All right. We're right here at the launch point. I'm going to reset Draggy. Okay, Draggy's reset. Okay, on three. 
One, two, three. Oh, there we go. 30. 60. All right, 250 kilowatts on the meter. Wow. Dang, that's pretty good. I'd say that's faster than most cars. Let's have a look at it on Draggy. That didn't quite go as planned. Uh, everything was fine. It measured 5.52 seconds, uh, but it showed invalid. Uh, the Draggy calculates a bunch of things to make sure that uh, I do the same thing each time. And uh, it uh, didn't like that one. So we're gonna run it one more time here. Maybe I didn't go straight enough. Wow, look at this. See. You don't see uh, cars here very often. I saw one last time I was testing. That's why I come here. There's generally nobody around. All right, here we go. Uh, state of charge is uh, 82%. 30. 30 of the post here. Okay. We go ahead and stop completely and we're good to go. On three. One, two, three. 30. 60. All right. Let's go right here. All right, let's have a look at Draggy. All right, 5.45 seconds. Just a couple tenths off of uh, the first run. I uh, had no idea it really was that fast. It felt pretty good. Remember, this car has two induction motors. Uh, they're three-phase AC induction motors. Yeah, I put the sensor uh, just on the center of the dashboard. Uh, it's actually uh, metal right there, and uh, it's ferrous metal because it's magnetic, uh, so you can stick magnets to it, and uh, that's where it is, right dead center in the car there. I read a lot and watch a lot of stuff with goings-on on EVs, and I find sometimes uh, people that have a, a slower EV, 0 to 60, are always uh, downplaying the fact that you have a faster uh, EV and it's not necessary because it just gets you from point A to point B. Well, that has a lot of merit and I think for some people they're just happy with that. I think uh, as a defensive driving, I think having a little bit more pep in your step is a better idea. Not often do you ever need to punch it to get out of trouble and uh, I think better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. This car is uh, very acceptable, even though it was made in 2016. Uh, zero to 60 in 5.4 seconds is uh, admirable.